going on a store run will soon be so seamless, you won't even have to stop after you grab what you want. Are you ready for checkout to totally change? Don't let this store fool you. It's got some consumer packaged goods essentials. Some uh, pineapples. But it isn't quite the quick stop mecca it might appear to be. We've built Autonomous Checkout and this is our mock store. So feel free to grab things and then just leave and we'll charge you on your way out. Standard Cognition tricked out its lab space as a convenience style market and very miniature hardware shop to train its machine vision cameras to recognize the products on the shelf. The artificial intelligence program starts by learning what an item looks like from all angles, then storing that data. So it doesn't actually matter that all the labels are neatly facing out. Then it can spot when someone's picked something up and track it from there. People are still being invited in to shop the shelves to track if the program can keep up. Eventually, it will be able to charge people for those purchases as they leave within an app. Now, I realize that sounds awfully ambitious, but this startup is not alone. This kind of shopping experience first hit massive public consciousness last December when Amazon released a video of a test store it had built at its Seattle headquarters where only employees are allowed to shop. What if we could weave the most advanced machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store so you never have to wait in line? The Amazon Go store is designed for easy checkout with sensors everywhere. They're in the floor, on the shelves, in the form of RFID tags, and yes, they have cameras. But a market analyst says all these different kinds of tech makes it very expensive to actually use for basically anyone other than Amazon. For a lot of retailers that have uh, already built their stores or have established locations um, to, to retrofit their their stores would be very difficult and a huge risk because uh, we know this technology is going to change. Some similar but light options are already on the market, though knowing about the ghost store has helped hasten the very real race happening out there. Some companies like Sam's Club let customers skip the checkout line and stroll right out if they pay for big items in the store's app. It's called Scan and Go. A startup based in New Zealand is somewhat closer to the system Standard Cognition is building now, but much smaller scale. SmartCart syncs a camera mounted on a cart to a user's phone and lets them roll right out of a store. But a large retailer that gives lineless checkout, independent of consumers having to fuss with their own phones, is the real goal. Mostly because the research backs it up. Everyone hates lines when they shop. Big picture, I would like to sort of create the machine vision company of the world. Standard Cognition got its start in Y Combinator and is now funded at $6 million a few months after graduating. It's approaching a checkoutless experience with pure machine vision, using only cameras and its AI system, which is built in part with TensorFlow, Google's open source AI kit. Using the two, any store could be retrofitted for machine vision checkout rather than having to rebuild to include sensors and everything else. For a normal store this size, it would take about three or four cameras for coverage. But because Standard Cognition is still feeding its AI, it has about 20 cameras here. So they're not quite security cameras. Um, one thing that we do like is a, a shorter shutter length, basically, or an exposure length. Uh, and the reason for that is that we, we like to get rid of motion blur. Really, being able to have a system that can understand every frame, if you want that. I'm gonna ninja the crap out of this wall. <laughs> Look out, yeah. cameras. In the end, its servers will be off the cloud for faster processing and to avoid potential privacy concerns from actual customers. That's also why they don't use facial recognition technology. We make sure uh, that the whole entire system is running anonymously. So you don't need to know who someone is in order to process them. Uh, they can come in and shop and leave, pay with cash, pay with their app, 
uh, but we don't need to know that this is particularly Carrie walking into the store. We can do it just by recognizing you as a unique person, uh, not necessarily by name. Consumers are still concerned when we look at our data around security, uh, privacy, um, all those types of things. So. Um, to get them to be actually buying on their on their mobile device, it's only it's still going to be early adopters at this point. All right, so everyone find a spot and remember where that is, so we can come back to it. Because the team has to train cameras to recognize whatever is seen today, they're training for the sort of holiday crowds that normally give people anxiety. And now let's start walking around and really just trying to mix around as much as possible. So the idea here is that tracking people in a dense environment, especially with lots of motion and lots of interweaving is really extra challenging, especially if you're trying to do it in a fully anonymous way. So we're gonna be walking up the shelves, grabbing stuff and really just mixing around a lot. Good news, y'all. It worked, sorta. All right, I'm still purple, but it thinks I have face soap. That is face soap. This is, this is bath and shower gel. Uh, you need just, some ladies in this place. I, I, I put that into the system. So I heard that we should do an even crazier, like tighter density. I guess. Can I be in that yeah, too? Yeah, let's, let's see if we can break the system. Okay. <laughs> but a tighter group was just ugly. Uh-oh. Uh, switch me and Carrie. Yeah, it switched yeah. us. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> By the way, it thinks my photographer is carrying a fan because it hasn't been taught about cameras yet. Okay, let's take this up a notch. They haven't trained it much for stealing, so I just want to see if I can fool it. So it did know about my Oreo baby, but it didn't know about this. Tricked it. Besides theft, they're also training the system to recognize medical emergencies or whether someone is a threat inside a store. The program doesn't recognize knives yet because it hasn't learned it, but this A1 steak sauce does a handy fill in. Items it has been trained on are ID'd in milliseconds, which means the system could alert store managers that quickly too. It's really easy for us to comprehend intent, but also sort of the orientation of people. And if somebody's standing, that's easy to discriminate that versus them laying down or in a more prone position. The idea is that Standard Cognition will package this up and offer to stores as a sort of machine vision checkout slash inventory management slash alarm system inside any existing store. But as cost efficient as a machine vision only system would be, it also brings definite limitations in the kinds of stores it could actually be used in. That's because while it can definitely spot the difference between say ketchup and hand soap, it can't yet tell the difference between sizes and Levi's. I haven't given up on the idea that we can do this purely visually, but really we just haven't started tackling jeans yet. Uh, and so we do, I can't, I can't say if we'll be able to do it without cameras or not. The plan from here is for Standard Cognition to likely open this little lab right by Santa Clara University campus as an actual shop within six months. Employees want to mine that data like crazy, improve, then install the camera and server system in other real stores. One thing I keep thinking of in this easy consumer future, what will happen to the people who hold those cashier jobs now? Cornerstone Capital Group says 7.5 million U.S. retail jobs are at risk of being replaced by automation in the next 10 years. But with actual store profits shrinking while online goes gangbusters, this could be the very tech to save brick and mortar stores. Even if it's not your company, I'm not making you out to be the bad guy. It's clearly happening. This is coming. So like, what do we as a society owe people who may have had a job like that before? So I think there's definitely a shift in, in what the jobs will be first, right? So cashiering will sort of be replaced by things that already exist in stores, obviously. So again, customer service and you know, restocking. But then there's a very high labor need for picking and delivering. So one thing you might hope is that rather than displacing jobs, we're just shifting them and also simultaneously giving a better service to, to, to shoppers and customers. 
can we talk about the sort of interest you have? Um, I sure. know there are a lot of NDAs. Yeah. We got a lot of interest from grocery stores. And we're getting a lot of other stores of all kinds showing interest in what we're doing, all the way from the biggest, biggest stores you can name, all the way down to the mom and pop shops on the street corner. Let's be real. I can't tell if this is the company that will make machine vision checkout actually happen. It could end up being a totally different option. But the experts say this is coming for us. So please everyone get ready to walk into a store, walk right out, and not have to stand in a line.